Seeing the devastation from Hurricane Sally in Alabama and Florida, people in the New Orleans area are naturally breathing a sigh of relief, right? Well, another system currently is brewing in the Gulf, and local officials are warning that a Sally-type rainmaker not only remains a threat, but an increasing one. Mike Perlstein has the story. Storm surge as high as 12 feet, more than 25 inches of rain over two days. That's what Hurricane Sally brought to Alabama and Florida. What if the same type of storm hit the New Orleans area? It would be a huge, widespread, uh, very dangerous, life-threatening event to see that type of rainfall over the course of a 12-18 uh, hour period. Meteorologist in Chief Ben Schott at the National Weather Service in Slidell said climate conditions have made that scenario a slow-moving rainmaker more likely than ever. There are quite a few uh, studies recently from tropical uh, researchers that are showing that storms are going to be slowing down along uh, the United States coastline. What does that mean for the New Orleans area? You are pretty much uh, at risk to see flooding at your house uh, basically in the time of that of that 30 year mortgage. The risk is not lost on the region's emergency directors. South Louisiana, it was this, this was um, a good experience to uh, drive home just how dangerous these systems are. Jefferson Paris Emergency Manager Director Joe Valiente said he had 80 rescue boats on standby ahead of Sally. You have to be prepared for uh, search and rescue missions after the wind subsides. That's something that is definitely, you know, we have to adapt for. We have to adjust our timelines. We have to adjust, adjust our plans. If you do decide to shelter in place, you have to have a robust uh, post-storm evacuation plan. New Orleans Emergency Director Colin Arnold said he hopes Sally reminds people of what could easily happen here. This could be for a hurricane, and this could be for an afternoon rainstorm, Mike, honestly. Now, where flooding and rescues might occur depends on each individual storm. And in New Orleans, it could depend on aging drainage equipment. But the bottom line is, don't let the near miss of Sally let complacency sink in. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. With Tropical Storm Beta now churning in the Gulf, the emergency officials tell us that those rescue boats and high water vehicles are once again on standby.